Hello, 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 everyone. It's me, Rob Trader, with Take the Initiative. Today, we've got another TTI League Top Cut match. Uh, this one is going to be another one that we're doing uh, voiceover because uh, we didn't have someone to stream it live, so Dylan managed to get in there and record it. He tried to do commentary himself, but uh, unfortunately, his mic was not working, so he gave us the video file, and I'm just going to record commentary over it. And uh, it's going to be great. But this is uh, where the bracket's at right now. The game we have today is Avastator versus Rebel Resource. Krennic Green versus Han Yellow. Uh, I'm really excited to see this Krennic play. We saw him uh, yesterday take down our defending champion. You can call me Al. Uh, so we'll see if he can take down the defending uh, runner-up as well <laughs> and, and uh, move on into the tournament, into the top four. Uh, here are the lists. This is uh, Rebel Resources. It's not Sabine Yellow. He's played that list a ton but now he's moving on to something else and this is what that thing is uh he's got the djs and the techs Bodie's main deck cunnings it's um he's running more of the rebel cards so it's it's the more aggressive version of han yellow there are a couple versions out there one's more aggressive one is is more controlly this one's more aggressive so we'll see if it's a uh, better better suited for the control matchup interesting stuff in the sideboard including grogu and uh final showdown so we'll see if those end up coming in but um yeah uh, and this is uh avocator's deck list uh we talked about this a lot in the last match but it's you know it's Kranich. It's not Kira. He is on the ECL. It's got uh, some really interesting cards like um, Cargo Juggernaut, uh, Dr. Pershing, um, Timely Intervention, three copies of each. But uh, it serves him well. He's also on three Consortium Star Viper instead of Black Sun Starfighter, which has sort of been uh, where lists have been moving. But he's not moving there. And he's got also three copies of Snoke, no Avengers at all anywhere in the list, and just one Devastator for top end. So uh we'll see if, if this list is able to take down the han um and let's get into it it's going to be it's going to start right in the middle it's we didn't quite get it at the start uh here we have the matchup it looks like uh and so for the the mouse moving is, is dylan's mouse it's not uh it's not mine so don't don't pay attention to that uh but it looks like we're starting uh pretty like far into game one uh rebels managed to get some damage on the base and he's got a han out and he's just playing the ezra uh, Avisator looks like he's in a pretty good position with the Gideon and the Krennic down, Krennic having some experience, and Ryan, uh, Rebel Resource, just pushing damage at the base with a surprise strike on Han, manages to get another resource out, uh, looks like he's not going to be able to do anything with it, and we're going into the next round. So it looks like that was probably the Han flip turn because uh, Rebel is now going down to five. It looks like Avisator is on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like he ramped at least, uh, it looks like he ramped once, yeah. And then I think I think Rebel just didn't, uh, just didn't resource this round, which is why he's down to. <laughs> and yep, there he he realizes what 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 happened there. He didn't uh, he didn't resource this round. So, uh, Avastator has initiative, so he he can pretty much just take out this uh, this Han with the Gideon. Krennic is at one, two, three, four, five attack right now. He's just gonna he's, he's gonna barrage on the Krennic, kill that Han, and he's get gets another experience from Gideon and so yeah one more damage to Ezra and Gideon experience goes on to Krennic so Krennic is now six attack plus two for the round so he's at eight right now and I have though he may be down 13 damage he can start hitting back now All right, Ezra hits base and uh, says discard that hotshot blaster. And Gideon just runs over the Ezra and puts another experience on the Krennic. Krennic now uh, t nine attack for the round. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine attack for the round. Seven normally. <laughs> He's got 10 remaining health. 
uh, 12 for the round. And wing leader. Coming down for uh, Rebel. Yeah, it should just, just be 9. 2 normally, 4 experience, that's 6. 1 from the damage, that's 7. 2 from the barrage, that's 9. Ryan does get it, his resource. He goes up to 6. Avisator at 8 now. Um, Snoke is coming down, and Ryan is just going to scoop it up. And head to the next game. Uh, let's see if I can fast forward through the sideboarding. Do, do, do. Looks like Avisator's already resourced. All right, there we go. Ready for game two. Uh, here comes C3PO. And he hits, gets the Rogue Operative. That's a, a card that's fallen out of a lot of lists, but it's just a really good aggressive card. It hits for four. And Pershing coming out for Avastator. That's going to be really annoying. And here comes Tech for uh, Rebel. And Avastator's just going to Pershing here. 3PO goes to base. Uh, calls three. And... I don't think he looks like he did. Oh, he got it. He got the uh, Bodhi. So both these players having <laughs> a really good card advantage engines with, you know, between Tribio and Pershing. Uh, <laughs> this, you know, we could have a DJ come down here, but uh, obviously there's, you know, going to have four resources to... Be able to deal with it because he resupplied this turn. And Steadfast coming in to take out Tech. Not even going to take the chance that the DJ comes out. DJ, I mean, DJ could still just come out here, actually. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He's not. He's seven double yellow, I believe, normally. So you couldn't play him on five. So obviously you're not going to have to worry about his resource getting stolen, but obviously you had that said fast in hand just in case uh, it happened. And Bodhi comes in discarding dark side, revealing another dark side, cargo juggernaut and Snoke. Havisator can flip Krennic here. And he can actually damage the Krennic with um, Pershing, <laughs> uh, which would allow the Krennic to trade into either one of these units. Uh, picking up another Bodhi there. Pershing, and he puts the damage on Krennic. So that Krennic can take out you know whoever he thinks is the biggest threat, and it's Bodhi. Uh, I might have gone for 3PO there just because I know there's another Bodhi in hand. But now we're going up to 6. This is the Han flip turn. <laughs> er, oh, he did resource restaurant, so he's at 5. But he can go up to 6 this turn. Uh, with the Han ability. Uh, Rebel has initiative here. He's got to use that Han if he wants to, um, go to six this turn. He's also staring down this massive board of Steadfast, Pershing, and Krennic, uh, compared to his lone little 3PO.
He's got things in the resource row that he can play. And Ryan's taking some time on this one. Uh, he's got a lot of a lot of options here. Uh, that three PO could go to base. He's got so three PO's managed to draw him. I think three cards at this point. So he's got a lot of card advantage. Pershing is drawing Avocator a lot of cards as well. <laughs> so his his advantage has been a bit nullified. But uh, he does have a lot of things that can potentially be gas here. How long does it take for him to take an action? I can skip forward until he takes an action. Do do do. All right. Uh, this point, it looks like he takes an action. <laughs> and it is uh, to smuggle out the blaster onto 3PO to take out Krennic. Interesting. And that does, uh, it does trade here because Krennic, uh, he is buffed by his own ability. Pershing, draw another card. Uh, we know Avsider's hand from last turn was Snoke, Cargo Juggernaut, and Power of the Dark Side. Um, Cargo Juggernaut is like an okay play at this point, but you might just want to wait for the Han to play and then play Power. Um, and he plays the Death Trooper for three. Bodhi going to come in and clear the way for the Han by getting rid of that um, Power of the Dark Side. But the Steadfast Battalion is just six attack and can just uh, wreck the, um, the Han as soon as he flips. Second Death Trooper coming down. And yep, here we go. Battalion just taking out Han. And that uh, Steadfast was two for one there. It took out both the uh, Han and the uh, Tech. Thanks, that ECL. Uh, Rebel does have the initiative here. He's at six resources. Could use Han to go to seven, potentially play... A Han unit. And he's just going to spark rebellion. Shows Vader, Snoke, Juggernaut, and Viper. And he's going to take the Vader. That leaves um, Avocator without a strong play this turn. And Pershing, just going to draw another card. Maybe he picked up a second Vader. <laughs> And Rebels got options here. Bodhi can go to the base, which you might want to do. It feels like you're the aggro deck in this matchup, but I mean, with those death troopers down, like you've got to start finding ways to to deal with them. Uh, even if he tried to attack into Pershing, Pershing would kill him back because of Krennic. And Ryan is again taking a long time to think about this one. He is going to just trade into the Pershing. And then uh, Avastator is just pushing damage to the base with these uh, Death Troopers. Ezra comes down. Cargo Juggernaut comes down. It's just going to be a big unit. <laughs> 
Um, Ezra can start like he can start like dealing with some of these things and maybe uh, bringing Ryan back on the card advantage. But uh, this is the turn Snoke comes down for Avastator. So unless he's got a Spark Rebellion, he's gonna have a very very big problem on his hands. And he already does. Like, uh, this is 11 damage right now on the board between these Death Troopers and the Juggernaut. Ezra can cleanly deal with the full health Death Trooper, but if he doesn't do anything with the Ezra, he gets dealt with by the damaged Death Trooper. But it, he, he obviously, he might not even uh, try to trade into the Ezra. He might just go base. The Juggernaut also deals with the Ezra. Uh, I forgot, <laughs> and probably better than the uh, Death Trooper because it just it doesn't die and in return just loses the shield. Uh, but Rebel has the initiative here. What's he gonna do? And if you I can fast forward. Let's let's see. Wow, it really took him a while to. to choose do all right there we go surprise strike the Ezra just into base and the juggernaut is just gonna deal with him I was here putting in chat, Snoke is coming for you. Uh, Rebel said he was trying to um, attack the hand here, but he couldn't because of Pershing. Pershing is, I think, a really underrated card. He, the, the card advantage he generates can, can win you a lot of games. And Rebels in a, a a tricky position. Uh, his deck was not designed <laughs> to uh, essentially play board control into control, which is what he has to do with these Death Troopers that are just sitting there threatening to deal damage. Uh, he's got five resources for maybe Chewbacca, maybe Millennium Falcon, Syndicate Lackeys. That's a pretty good one, actually. Deals cleanly with the death trooper but snoke rears his ugly head clears the lackeys now that's going to make all of rebels plays really really weak he's got five for oh cantina bouncer um but he's just gonna yeah i was he's just gonna play it back uh oh he's actually gonna timely intervention it as well <laughs> Uh, to clear the um, the bouncer, uh, he should take one damage here from that. Oh, it looks like he's playing around new adventure. So Avastator took it down two zero against Rebel Resource. He now has wins versus last season's champion and last season's runner up. He's the only person that brought brought uh, blue green control, which I think is a really great archetype right now. Uh, it's not quite Kira. Uh, Kira, I think, is a better leader than Krennic, but Avstater has shown they're really kind of close. Krennic is really good. He does have uh, you know, good matchups into a lot of things, and he's beat some very good players on some very good decks here. And he gets to play the winner of Cody F13 and Jax. Uh, they'll be playing tomorrow night around, I think, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so be ready to tune into that. Should be on this channel. Maybe it'll be on, on Prairie Pirates channel. We'll see. And then we also have Coastal. They're playing Thursday uh, at, I think, 1700 UTC, which I'm not sure what that is in American time. Uh, and the winner of that one gets to play Jonah Niklas, uh, who is on Han 1 Green. So uh, leagues, exciting. 
Thank you all for tuning in and remember to always take the initiative.